Welcome to the Art Scene Online Music Business Workshop. I'm your host, Jonathan Shaw, and we are proudly sponsored by the National Arts Council. This is the 12th video in our 14 video series, and in this video, we'll be looking at record production. So, this is something very close to my heart. I am a record producer, I run a recording studio, I'm an audio engineer, I'm a musician, I'm a session musician, I do everything under the sun in terms of making recordings. That is my passion. So to introduce you to the record production process, I'd like to talk about the production pyramid. And in the record production pyramid, everything starts with, can you guess it? The song. The song is where everything starts. So when you're going to record something, you need to make sure that the song is the best song possible that you can record and that it's written beautifully and of course, depending on the style, the type of song is going to vary and who knows whether it's going to be some success. Obviously, recording a cover song, you might have a better chance of success than something that's completely unknown. And then that way, you've got just got to trust your ears. And uh, there is this thing about the golden ears and whether you can hear money. And those people that can hear money, well, they're obviously apparently very successful. So let's hope that all of us land up having golden ears. Then from the song, the next component in our pyramid is the arrangement. What is the arrangement? Well, the arrangement is the music that is set for all the instruments for the song. So while the song maybe is just melody and lyrics and is an idea or skeleton of, of what a song means and is, the arrangement is, say, the piano part or some sort of synthesized part or drums, bass, guitar, any of those instruments which need to be played along with the song or make up the song or the feeling of the song. And of course, how you dress up the song influences how people will receive it. Different styles can mean different things. So you could have a hip hop song, which is redone as a heavy metal song. And how that change is done is often in the arrangement. But then of course, it's not enough just to have what each instrument is going to play. It's all about who plays those instruments or the performer or the performance of the arrangement. And of course, with, with all of these things, you should be getting onto the idea now that the song needs to be brilliant. The arrangement needs to be amazing. The performance needs to be absolutely incredible. Uh, so all of these components need to be done at their best in order to have the best impact possible. Sometimes it's impossible to say what makes a song or a recording work. And uh, through experience, you just realize that certain things work out a lot better than, than others. But it does come down to the emotion that you feel and what you're hearing that's coming through. And it's all about the emotion that the recording is capturing at that particular point in time. Then finally, how the recording is actually undertaken is important. And this is the really the technical component of whether to record on digital or on tape, what microphone to pick, which preamplifier you're going to go through, who's producing the project, who says when a take is done and when a take still needs to be, be redone until it's perfect, or what is a perfect take. All of that makes up the process of recording. And then finally, once though you have the finished recording, it, everything leads into marketing. In the next and last two videos, we'll be talking about how to market your recordings and performances in order to get the most out of them. And marketing is an art in its own right about being able to package something, get it out into the market, get people interested in it, and hopefully sell it uh, in millions so that you can make lots of money. That's what it's all about, right? So once you have everything in the production pyramid, we need to go through what is the process of recording itself. So the process starts with pre-production. Pre-production is planning. So thinking about what you're going to need in order to undertake the recording in the most efficient way, that's going to not cost you an arm and a leg and make use of the money that you've got, and then finally have it at, done in the most professional way it can be. And that can be working out what song to record, is it finished being written? Are the lyrics good enough? Do the lyrics need a change? Who's going to perform on that record? All of that planning goes into the pre-production phase. Then the production phase is really about capturing it all, getting the tracking done. Um, and everything starts with signal generation. So from picking a really nice guitar to what microphone has got to be put on that guitar and where is it going to be put? What's it going to be fed into in terms of a pre-amplifier? And a preamplifier is really just a signal that is put into some sort of circuit 
that gets finally fed into a, a digital audio workstation or some sort of interface uh, where one can record. And then finally, what does it get recorded on? So is it a computer hard drive? Is it onto tape? The, all of these things can have an influence on the process. Then once it's been recorded and you've decided which platform you're going to record on, we talk about a digital audio workstation. All of this influences how the recording will be captured. Once it's captured, we talk about post-production. Nothing is necessarily recorded perfectly. It always needs polishing at the end of the day. So sometimes there's extensive editing that goes on to make sure that all the pops, clicks, sounds, the right takes of there, uh, all of that sort of stuff after you've recorded everything. And then finally mixing, which is dealing with all the individual instruments in order to make sure that they stand together as a whole and give you the emotion and the power and the punch that you want out of that production. And finally it goes off into mastering, which is really about making sure that the production has all the rights, tones and timbres and elements that make it sound as though it's finished at the end of the day. And that is the record production process in a nutshell. So our next video, we'll be talking about marketing recordings. And I hope you'll join me for the second last video. Thank you so much.